All right, all right, it's Wash Hawk Wednesday and I'm Mike Kinderlier, the Dean of Power Wash. And I wanna wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you're off to a great start. You've got all kinds of plans in place and goals to set for this year and that uh, you're gonna do your best to achieve them. And I, as I know you will. Um, one of the things I wanna to talk to you about today has to do with the shipping rates that have recently been implemented with um, UPS and FedEx. So packages that we're sending out are now have a upcharge or a surcharge on them if they're 50, if they're over 50 pounds. So what we are starting to do here is to make sure that our shipping rate is at 50 pounds. So the contents in the box is 50 pounds or less. This is gonna affect some of our soaps that we normally sell at 50 pounds because the box will actually make it too heavy to ship. And there will be another 24 to 25 dollars somewhere in that range on the shipment of that box we really don't want to affect uh, our customers out there so we want to be very transparent about that cost and like in any business costs costs are just passed on and so <clears throat> want you to know about that and what we're doing to try to keep our costs down we're going to try to keep all shipping packages under that 50 uh, 50 pound uh, surcharge that kicks in if it just Second it goes over 50 pounds, rates go up 24 to $25. That's, that can be significant. And we know it could impact uh, a lot of you guys out there in the industry. So what we're doing is watching our weights to make sure we keep that cost down. We may send extra boxes so that the cost isn't so high. But one of the things that I'd like to get some feedback on is we went back and forth on this over the years and like for you to comment below and kind of give us uh, an idea of what you would prefer. So right now we just add an extra, we just pass on the shipping rates. No markup or anything like that. The shipping rates come straight through. We pass them on to, to you wherever you're located in the country. But one of the things we've kicked around the idea of is what if we raise the price of all our products and basically there's no shipping charge anymore so it's baked into the cost of the product and the shipping charge is there um, I have tried that in the past and it seemed like we were losing sales because people talk about well hey you can get over here and it's cheaper well they don't bake in the shipping costs we were um, so we went back did it so it can be compared but I'd really like to get some feedback on what the preference would be. Um, maybe we don't do it with all our products. Maybe we just do it with some of them. Maybe we come up with some other ideas. I'd like to really get your input and see what you think about how the best way is to accommodate for those shipping costs um, out there. So as you can see, there's a there's a box right there. Guys are about to <laughs> get my finger in the position. So, ah, there they are. They're doing their shipments right there. We got Mark and Roderick over there and uh, this whole pile of stuff going out right there. That's uh, going out today. So anyway, um, if you would, give us feedback. Love to hear what you got to say about it. Hope you're getting your goals set and everything for 2000, uh, 2020, <laughs> the, new, the new year, the new decade. So it's so cool um, to be part of it and uh, hope that you're going to have a wonderful year. You've got your, your, thing, your strategies in place. You've been uh, optimizing what you think you can do going into next year and put those actions Take action. Believe me, take action. It's super important. So anyway, I'm Mike Kinderlier, Dean of Power Wash, Power Wash University, and PowerWash.com. I hope you have a very successful year, and I'll see you next week. Take care.